We've got a question now from Amanda. Amanda says, should you be forced to retire at 82 years of age? OK, so now this is a reference, obviously, to President Joe Biden because he is just poised to announce his run for re-election early this year. This won't come as a surprise. A lot of people already knew this, but there has been lots of people in the Democrat Party who have been basically saying we need a younger candidate. And they will definitely need a younger candidate, by the way, if Ron DeSantis is going to run for the Republican side. Yeah. Can, can you imagine Ron DeSantis standing next to Joe Biden in a debate. I mean, yeah. that won't be a debate at all. It'll, yeah. be a car it'll be carnage. Yeah, I mean, Joe Biden was too old the, the first time around, right. so he's definitely too old this time around. And also there's signs, I mean, on, on a serious note, everybody mocks him for, for uh, sort of cluelessness and, and reading. He reads the, uh, the auto cue uh, like Anchorman. He reads, you know, the bits that you're not supposed to Oh, read. yeah, he says, pause <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, yeah. pause for next pause bit. Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> like yeah. Says it out loud and then, you know, yeah. wanders off stage and has to wander back on to find the door and tries to shake hands with yeah. people who aren't there. References people who've been dead for 17 years. Uh, oh, and I, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, but it's, it's sad. I mean, we, we laugh about it, but this is a serious issue. This guy's like, you know, ostensibly uh, reading the auto cue of the person who runs the largest military uh, in, in the world. This is it. I mean, with it, if it was anyone else, I wouldn't want to mock, I wouldn't want to draw attention to it because I'd feel bad for someone who's suffering in this yeah. way. I think but he's fine. the president. If he's going to be a greeter at Walmart, fine. Then it's fine, be 82. Right. But, you know, as, as the president, I think uh, absolutely. I'm not ageist in the least, but if you're the president and you're not acknowledging that you've got cognitive decline, yeah. then people should acknowledge it for you, right? No, because you're asking the wrong question. Okay. You're looking at him and saying, "Can he do the job?" And can he do the job? Yes, he can. He could do the job because he is his job that he's been chosen to do is to do exactly what he's been told. To right, do. but that's the problem with your system. I hate to say, you know, you're yeah. not the representative of America. I will be because it's the greatest system in the world. Is it the greatest system in the world? Because <laughs> I you basically it have is. a puppet. President who, who is just basically shunted around by other people, and it's not the first president yeah. that has had that. He, he, no, he isn't the puppet president. Well, we want to name names like uh, what's his name, Wilson, um, President Wilson. Yes, World War One. He was like he had a brain cerebral hemorrhage oh, or something like that. Okay, and his, well, and his wife was running the. Country. Well, there we go. That's my yeah. point. But the point is, the point is, it's chosen by the people. If the people want to have someone who's brain dead but is doing what they want him to do. Okay, but wouldn't it be better to implement a system which would be more similar to ours? Yeah. Insofar as you know, we've got PMQs, right? The, pre the prime minister has to stand up and face a barrage I don't of think difficult so. questions. No, he does not have to. But, There's no rule that says he has to. Well, he. D well, we he know, it's you convention. Know. It's convention, but that's not a rule. Yeah, that's but no, the Constitution. Yeah, but no one's yes, going to vote for them if they don't. I mean, don't you think that something like that for your president would be quite healthy because it means that the candidate would have to be a stronger candidate? First of them. all, first of all, let me say this about the British, British system and British people in general. This country, Britain, is the greatest country in the world <laughs> because it created America. And America is now the greatest country. America, obviously, you're like, you know, you're Jenny Murray. And but then you created... that, surely then Iraq should be the greatest country in the world because it was created by America. Well, maybe Iraq is the greatest country. In the yeah, world. maybe it is. Yeah, it's yeah. better. But the point is, what, what is the point that you're making is is the system in America, they've, they've figured it out. And they figured it out by British people who lived for hundreds of years under the British system. And they said, let's do something else. It was. I just don't understand. Can I just ask you yeah. about Trump, though? I mean, yeah. like, so could, Trump is as old as Joe Biden. Yeah, and he, he's saying he's going to run as well. And he's saying he's going to run as well. And Trump is also unhinged, but in a different way. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be better for everyone if we just had, I'm not, again, not being ageist, but just candidates who are at least below seven, uh, 70? I don't think there needs to be a hard and fast cutoff point because we don't know, what, you know, in 10 years' time, the way technology is going. Right. Maybe people over the age of 80 will uh, have some, some use to society. What do you think? DeSantis or Trump next time? Um... You're normally good at predicting these things. I know I'm not. I'm not good. I didn't. I didn't see Trump coming at all. Really? I, yeah. I would say this. Who who do I personally want to win? Who's ever's best for America? Okay. There he is, being <laughs> diplomatic again, as ever.